In some rare cases, you might get a not activated device screen while using set app. In this video you will learn how to overcome this issue. First, tap enter device details to verify they match the certification label's details. If there is a mismatch, manually enter the characters from the label to the relevant fields. Tap continue, whether you changed anything or not. If you still can't activate the device, Solaray support team will be happy to help. However, before contacting support, you should verify that the device communicates with SolarEdge servers. Let's see how it's done. If the blue LED is constantly on, this means that the device communication with SolarEdge servers is OK. If there's no constant blue LED, tap Set Monitoring Communication and select the relevant connection type. In this example, we'll set cellular connection, which is already auto-selected, since the inverter recognized the cellular plugin inside. Tap Configure Cellular, and then select Configurations. Next, tap Edit to insert the access point name. Enter the displayed value in the access point name field and tap Done. Then, tap the back arrow to return to the previous screen. It may take a few minutes till the internet connection is established. Once cellular is successfully set, you should see the green check mark on the cellular icon and the connected SOK status. Now that monitoring communications is set, the device can be remotely accessed by SolarEdge support team. To contact SolarEdge support, click the right arrow at the top of the banner. This will lead you to the online service center. Log in to the SolarEdge installer support page and start a call or chat with one of our support engineers. For any other issues, you can find additional tutorials and instructional videos on the SolarEdge YouTube channel.